Disabled artists are looking to take the spotlight in hip hop. This week, Street Soldiers has the story of a rap duo on a mission to make the music industry more accessible. Here's Lisa Evers with a preview. Imagine being a teenager in high school, then getting shot and having to spend the rest of your life in a wheelchair. That's what happened to Namel Norris and Rick Velasquez, but they didn't let it deter their dreams. United by their determination to succeed and their love of music, the founders of Four Wheel City are bringing hip hop beats to the disability pride movement. Four Wheel City is the name of hip hop duo Namel Tapwaters Norris and Rick Velasquez. Velasquez was walking home from high school when he was struck and paralyzed by a stray bullet. At 18, Norris was accidentally shot by someone playing with a gun. For more than a decade, they've been working on accessibility issues for wheelchair bound people while pursuing their music careers. They're determined to use hip hop to open doors. When me and Rick first started, it was I didn't see many like us. I didn't see like that 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 innovation, that that youth, that spirit. But now I think it's there across the board. In addition to making their own music, they've collaborated with major artists, including Snoop Dogg. They also speak at schools about the consequences of gun violence and at disability conferences about the need for more diversity. Their focus now is on creating career opportunities for disabled people in the music industry. Multi-platinum music producer Amadeus says the time has never been better. The technology of today allows us to do anything and everything we need to do. You know. I mean, so, you know, back when, you know, uh, Four for Wheel City started and when I started producing, the Internet wasn't there. The CDC says nearly one out of four Americans are disabled. That's more than 60 million people. Despite their large numbers, Four Wheel City feels there's a need for more support, especially for youth suddenly disabled in urban communities. Velasquez shares from his own experience. Just keep pushing. Don't stop. It's not over. Um... This could, you might think it's over, but two, three years from now, you're gonna be, you're gonna be saying to yourself, "Wow, I'm glad I didn't, I didn't give up." The Four Wheel City duo says the disability community is not looking for handouts. They first and foremost want to be seen as human beings like everyone else. We have much more for you on this in our next episode of Street Soldiers Friday night, right after the 10 o'clock news.